Somalia has restored diplomatic relations with Kenya. Mogadishu broke ties six months ago, accusing Nairobi of interfering in its internal affairs. Efforts by the Intergovernmental Authority on Development and the African Union to bring the two together failed. Qatari mediation is being given credit for helping to break the impasse. A government statement issued by the Information Ministry states, The two governments agree to keep friendly relations between the two countries on the basis of principles of mutual respect for sovereignty and territorial integrity, non-interference in each other's internal affairs, equality, mutual benefit, and peaceful coexistence. The presidents of both countries are grateful and thankful to the Emir of State of Qatar for his good offices in this regard. The relationship between the neighbors has been complicated due to politics and economics. Somali President Mohamed Farmajo had been seen as friendly with his Kenyan counterpart, Uhuru Kenyatta, until last year. His government in December accused Kenyatta of supporting election holdout Jubaland leader Ahmed Madobe. Mogadishu even said the Kenyans were hiding the fugitive state security minister of Jubaland, Abdi Rishad Janan. An EGAD investigation cleared Nairobi from wrongdoing. Janan eventually surrendered to the federal government and was let go. Another irritant has been the offshore territorial dispute that could affect half a trillion dollars worth of energy wealth. The case has been before the International Court of Justice, although Nairobi would prefer a negotiated sharing of the area's profits. The sale of khat, a mild stimulant commonly chewed in Somalia, has also been at issue. The Somali government banned its importation to stem coronavirus transmission early last year. But it has restarted imports from Ethiopia, not Kenya, costing farmers and exporters great amounts of money. The Kenyan Foreign Ministry has responded positively to Somalia's diplomatic gesture, saying it looks forward to normalizing relations regarding trade, communication, transportation, people-to-people -people relations, and cultural exchanges. EGAD's chairman expressed his organization's satisfaction with the renewed ties. Sheikh Tamim bin Hamid, Qatar's head of state, sent his congratulations as well. ADN-TV reports on diplomatic matters in the Horn of Africa and around the world.